everybody. Welcome once again to Colour Passion Land. I'm Kim Gow from Colour Passion. Today I thought we would do a pour because our lovely loyal customer, Deborah, Debbie, Deb, from the UK has requested a pour with aqua, anything aqua, because she loves aqua and she knows I do too. So I'm gonna have some fun with this one today. So I thought, I was going through seeing what, what colours could we go with aqua. So what I'm going to do is Ronde Aqua, which is a gorgeous colour after Ronda from RK3 Designs in the US. We've got Lorraine Shimmer, which is after our beautiful lady in Canada, our stockist there, Lorraine Shimmer. It's just one of my favourite colours. It is so gorgeous. Uh, Teal Luster. Now that's something you might not have come across before. It's a powder, it's delicate, um, and, and the little tiny sheen of that is just gorgeous. So I thought that would go really nice in this. And then going to use Exotic Teal because we can't have all samey same. So we've got to have a little bit of depth, so that will add a little bit of depth to it. Uh, and then I thought I might add some Max White Sparkle in that just to maybe give it a bit of a lift. We'll see how we go. Then um, I'm going to use an aqua gel tint just to have some patches of just clear aqua colour without anything in it. And last but not least, I'm trialling and testing a pearl. Uh, we'll see how this one goes with it as well and hopefully it's all going to work out together. So let's go and have some fun and see what we can do with aqua this week. Okay, here we are. We're all set up, ready to go. So I've mixed the resin. Uh, and I've got the Ronde Aqua, the Aqua Gel Tint, Exotic Teal, I'm going to put some Max White Sparkle in that one to make it, to give it a bit of depth, Lorraine Shimmer, which is one of my personal favourites, Teal Luster is another one, because we're going all Aqua. And also I'm going to test um, another product, which is sort of like a, a neutral pearly white sort of colour, not white but pearl. Anyway, we're going to give that a go and see see how that turns out. So, um, I've used the, uh, sorry, the level leveler. It's really important to do that um, because otherwise, you know, when even when you take the tape off, it's going to run the wrong way. So you don't want that. So it's very important to make sure that your surface is level when you begin. All right. Now, I've got the uh, Barnes Epoxy Glass. This one is an older older set of containers, so it's quite yellow, but it won't matter at all. So I'm just going to pop it into each cup. See how we go. Um, with the, what was I gonna say then? I've lost my train of thought. Just going to put in approximately the same amount of each. See how we go. I've mixed up about 400 mils. Nope. We have to cut back a bit. And we've got this here. Um, just for those who are new, um, I always stir my resin for minimum three minutes. And to make sure that when you're stirring it, that you constantly go around the edge of the container to make sure that you are mixing it fully. Very important because you don't want to end up with soft spots because you haven't uh, measured it, sorry, stirred it properly, mixed it properly. Really important. I can't impress that upon you enough. Just taking out what I can there. Okay. So, pop that to one side and I might just have to pour bit more of this one in. There we go. A little bit more. Oops, oh, that was clever of me. There we go. <laughs> Clean it up. Goodness gracious me. That's a good start, isn't it? Always dropping things. Doesn't matter if I drop it on the board because it's going to be all risen over there shortly anyway. Okay, let's get moving with popping the colour in. Exotic Teal is it's a lovely shade. It's a bit oily, so we've always got to mix up any paste, especially if we haven't used it for a while, which I haven't used this for a while, so 
and it's very full because I emptied, had a clean out and I emptied uh, all the containers in together. Right, uh, yes, that should be plenty for that. Just going to mix this up, making sure that I mix it thoroughly into the resin. Oops. And I'm also going to add some Max White Sparkle because you know me, everybody, I love a bit of sparkle. Love, love, love a bit of sparkle. So, a smidge more, why not? Not going to hurt anything. Okay. Just stirring it. Yeah, that's going to be lovely. Beautiful. Okay, that's that one. Uh, Lorraine Shimmer. Named after our lovely stockist in Canada. Lovely lady. Does some very interesting things. Uh, Lorraine Shimmer again giving that a good mix okay we'll also have some aqua gel tint the gel tints are fabulous for giving a bit of depth I'm just giving one complete squeeze and gonna mix it up Now, you can have this as light as you like or as dark as you like. You can just keep adding more to get different depths of colour. I think for the purpose today, because we're putting it on the white board, I think I'm going to just leave it at that one pump. But you can add this to whites um, or other lighter colours to change up colours if you want. The gel tints are amazing. They really are. If you haven't tried some, may I suggest that you at least get one and try it because they are fabulous. Now we've got our Rondaqua. This is named after Rhonda in uh, RK3 Designs in the US. Lovely, lovely lady who's going to come out to Australia in April next year. And she's going to show everybody how to do countertops. She is a whiz. Okay, so that's our Rondacqua. Then we've got Teal Luster. Again, a bit of sparkle, but it's just so pretty. I love this product. This colour, just gorgeous. And obviously, it's a powder. Beautiful. Look at that colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Just to have a little bit of a, a different colour there. Then I've got this other product that I'm trialling. It's a lot there. I don't need that much. So just a bit. I haven't used this before at all, so don't know what it's going to be like. We're going to find out together. Gee, it's pretty. It's really gorgeous. It's like a, very much like our pearl shimmer, actually, I think, but it, maybe just a bit lighter and very silky. Hmm, that'll be interesting to use that today. Okay. So here we are, all mixed up. So now the fun begins. It's the pour. All right. And if you don't know where to start, always start with the darkest colour. Oh, 
Okay, so there's nothing in mind at all of how I'm going to do this. Just a bit of balance rather than just putting it like all on one side or whatever. Just put a bit more over this side with this bit. I had these plastic cups and um, I thought I'll use them up. I like it because I, you can see the colours a bit better when I'm doing this, but obviously with the planet being the way it is, we need to do what we can to preserve it. So, all right, next one. Um, gosh, I don't know. Lots of decisions to make, isn't there? Um, I might go with the Rondacqua. Use that one next. And a little bit over here, perhaps. Use it up. I hope wherever you are, you're having a lovely week. Oops, been a crazy week here. We've had actually had some heat, a really hot day. It's supposed to be spring, and now the next three days, it's going to be pouring with rain again. So, goodness me, I don't know what's going on with this world, but, but we keep going. Okay, so here we've got that beautiful, and I really do love this one. This is the Lorraine Shimmer. Look at that. It is a beautiful shimmer. People always want to ring when I can't talk to them, so they're going to have to wait. Okay. Bit there. Mm, oops, maybe a little bit here. Lovely, lovely. Then we'll put... Uh, Oh, this one. Well, this is the teal luster. And um, actually, before I put that in, I'm thinking I'm going to put some of this beautiful pearl one that's quite light, just so that I have got some light through it. Maybe over here. I think it's going to be quite transparent by the look of that. But I guess I could add a bit more in and then that would make it not quite so transparent. Okay. Then we've got the gel tint. You can see I've got oodles of um, product here. And this obviously is transparent. Perfect for doing all sorts of things. Some over here. I'm really just covering the board. And last but not least is the teal luster. Might just put some of that actually right over the top of that. Put some along here. Maybe some just in here. Again, sort of trying to balance it a little bit so that it's a little bit here, a little bit there, but overall it's not all on one side. Okay, I think we're just about there. Right then, actually we can probably put a 
I've just got just a little bit more still in here, so we can maybe put that there. Okay, a little bit over here. We've just about covered it, which is great. But we're going to hit it with the torch in a moment anyway. And that will obviously level everything. And then we'll see what we're going to do from there. Okay, where's my torch? Here we go. Just breaking the bubbles initially. getting some nice lacing from that, uh, that product. I'm just popping on the fan for it. I forgot to put that on before. Hmm. So now this pour is obviously all for uh, everybody, but the lovely Deb from, or oh, Deborah, from the UK has requested anything in aqua. So today's pour is really more for her. Uh, and um, I just sort of got together aquas of what I could. And to give it a bit of depth, I've gone that darker teal color. Ooh, and this is leaking out of here a little bit. Obviously didn't uh, make sure that it was really stuck on tight. Anyway, let's see how we go. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that for now. Um, we'll let it sit for about 20 minutes, then I'll come back, remove the tape, and then we'll see what we're going to do. Okay, here we are, we're back again, and it's probably been about 25 to 30 minutes, actually. I just thought I'd just leave it go a little bit longer. Interesting, isn't it? Um, look at all the effects we've had here. So that's amazing. So that's probably because the Rondaqua is acting as a base, and we have put the powder over the top. This is laced quite interestingly as well. So, and even over here, we had some cell structure and that was with the aqua tint over the Ronde Aqua. So it's, it's always interesting, isn't it? Like what, what happens? And here, some really pretty, pretty cell structure happening there too. Anyway, let's remove the tape. I really like this here and I didn't want it to really pour off. That's why I left it a little bit longer. I don't know how we're going to go. So we'll just see. Pouring this, pulling it away from me, away from the board. Pop that in the bin. Okay. Just wiping my hands. Okay. So then all we need to do is remember the two fingers and I just roll it around just gently. I'm not really wanting to push product away. I'm really just gliding it over. And that feels pretty good to me actually. Uh, making sure that that bottom third, at least bottom half is covered with resin, wet with resin, I call it. And then that way we know that it's going to give something for the resin on the top to come over and if you do that, you're always gonna end up with really lovely edges. See, this is pulling over a bit, so we, we may well lose some of this, which is a shame, but anyway, we'll just see how it goes. Now, the other thing I thought of, I was looking at, at this, because even though we've had some interesting effects, actually, I'm gonna take that glove off, I think. Uh, yeah, I will. So, I wanted to add a little bit more bling, and I thought, what's perfect for this is our gorgeous oceanic color change. So I'm just going to put some just just gently sort of into a few little spots. Especially I think over the darker. I thought that the uh, Max White Sparkle might have shown out a little bit better. It probably will in the sunlight but just 
in the light here it's really not so that's what I thought maybe if I just put this over the teal there just to add a little bit of something a bit, bit more you know, interesting I just thought it was a little bit flat and remember, if you don't give it a go, you'll never, never know. You know that's my catch cry. So I thought, what can I do? And I thought, yeah, I think this will look quite pretty on it. I love this this particular colour change, the oceanic one. I mean, they're all lovely. The Fuchsia Fire is gorgeous as well for a warmer colour. But I particularly do like this one here. Trying not to get it onto the light because then it sort of looks like specks. But over the darker, it's really pretty because you can you know, see all the lovely colour shift in it. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. It'll be sitting on the top. If, if you decided that really bothered you, look, you could always pop a flood coat on afterwards. But um, I, I think that's fine. Here we go, just to add a little bit of something that wasn't there before. I think that will improve it. Yep. Um, what else? Well, if we wanted to, we could get our, our pointer or whatever and we could do some little squiggles. Um, not really sure if I want to. We could probably do some, hey? I don't remember which way I went with this. Here we could just do some little swirls. There we go. So it really is up to your own imagination and uh, never be afraid to give something, you know, a go. I mean, I'm just dabbling here, seriously. It's, <laughs> it's no, nothing that wonderful that I'm doing at all. But, you know, I just think it all goes into making it look perhaps a little bit more interesting as an art piece. What can we do here? circles that's all I'm doing it's not rocket science and I've probably messed up a little bit but there we go mm. I don't like solid lines so I'm just going over the top of that that okay I think that's probably just about enough what do you think maybe a little bit there all right let's leave it and um, tomorrow we'll have a look at it in the reveal unfortunately I think it's going to be wet and miserable so we're not going to see nice things out in the sunlight which is what I always prefer so I don't know how we're going to go. Um, it's showing up, you know, little bits and pieces. But look, we'll do our best. Okay then, until then. Here we are, everybody. Our reveal after our pour yesterday. A little bit of sunshine sneaking through the clouds. I'm really happy with it. It's turned out pretty. This here is our oceanic colour shift. We've got the Lorraine shimmer here and that pearl. This is, oh my goodness, you can't probably pick it up too much maybe, but I'm trying to move it around a bit. But you can see that gorgeous, gorgeous little bit of sparkle. That was the teal luster powder. It is so, so pretty. Just trying to capture a little bit there. You can see a little bit of sheen there. And look how it's laced. It's amazing. And that was over the top of the Ronde Aqua. And again, we've got just, just a little bit. Um, it's not too much at all just to add to the interest in this piece. Really happy with it. Just a couple of little swirls there, happy with that. 
So all in all, yeah, I'm happy with this because I love aquas as well. So this is for our lovely Deb over in the UK. So Deb, I hope you have enjoyed watching this and I hope you love the colours that I've chosen. I'm really pleased with it, so I'm sure you will be. So thank you for being a wonderful, loyal customer. Really appreciate that. And, uh, and thank you everybody else for the viewers uh, to our video, the subscribers. I really appreciate that. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please do. Uh, and also push that notifications bell so that you know when a new video is arriving, which is usually once a week. Uh, love to have you as part of our family. Okay, everybody, have a wonderful week and look forward to next week. Have a wonderful week ahead. And remember, if you don't give it a go, you'll never, never know. Bye for now.